Hello and welcome to the Abundology Podcast. My name is Renee Spears and I'm a spirit guide channeler and spiritual life and business mentor. And I help people be happy and attract more money, love, time, and joy in their lives. I'm coming to you from beautiful Bozeman, Montana, and this is the weekly energy update for the week of April 2nd, 2023. Every Sunday, I talk about how the energy is going to be for the week ahead, and I also infuse the show with some positive vibes, so you get a little positive energy boost just for listening. And welcome to April 2023. The flowers are blooming, bees are buzzing, chocolate-covered eggs are being eaten, and if you're in Montana, the snow is finally melting. So spring is here and we're in the thick of airy season. There's a lot of excitement bubbling up beneath the surface and we're eager to get moving forward. This is just a wonderful time to be alive. So with the big astrology shifts in March behind us, we're in a brand new chapter and the energy is fresh and shiny and new. So this April is a number two universal month according to numerology, a two month also known as the two of hearts, is about partnership, balance, and harmony. It's relationship time, a time to focus on your relationships, whether they're romantic, professional, or with your family. So anything we launched during last month's number one month continues to take off. Maybe not as quickly as we'd like. (laughs) Remember, numerology works on a nine-month cycle, so we're just getting started. We're settling in and we're getting used to our new lives and our new identities. And this month begins with a full moon in Libra on Wednesday night, April 5th. Also in April, we have a new moon total solar eclipse on the 20th, the first solar eclipse of the year. And then after three months of no retrograde planets, Mercury goes retrograde on April 21st. No need to panic. Remember, (laughs) Mercury retrograde gives us an opportunity to rethink redo and rework things. And this is our chance to fine tune our next chapter, to fine tune our new life, our new projects and our new ways of being. It's really perfect timing for this Mercury retrograde. So let's start with the energy of the full moon on Wednesday night. This is the pink moon in honor of the flowers that begin to bloom in spring. So in general, full moons shine a light on things and they bring clarity. And they're also moments of release that help us to create more balance in our lives. And this particular full moon occurs in Libra, which is the sign of the scales. It emphasizes the importance of balance and harmony even more. So the energy of this two universal month and the energy of the full moon are both about balance, harmony, and relationships. So full moons in Libra are these pivotal moments for creating peace and harmony. So take a second to think about where you are out of balance. Where could you use some more harmony in your life? I am totally feeling out of balance in my work. I have been book solid since December, and this is the first week when I'm not. And a lot of self-employed clients are experiencing their work balancing out right now, either gaining speed or slowing down. So when you're self-employed, it's easy to go to the place of, I'll never have clients again if it's slowing down. I've worked for myself now for over 30 years, and I have been through this many, many times. So when there's energy like this, it's time to get back in balance and enjoy the slower times. Enjoy the time getting the stuff done that you haven't had time for, like maybe updating your website, maybe some business planning, maybe just resting. We need times like this to get back in balance, back to balanced eating if we've been eating crap, back to exercise if we've gotten off our routine in winter, back to relaxation if we've been working a little too hard, or maybe back to work if we've been slacking a little. So the universe loves anything literal. If you want more balance in your life, then practice literal balance. Maybe by standing on one foot while you're doing dishes or brushing your teeth. Maybe do some balanced yoga poses. Balance your checkbook. Balance your budget. This full moon is also shining a spotlight on our relationships and how we choose to show up in them. So think about which which relationships are bringing out your best and then devote more time and energy to them. 
And are there any relationships where you can't show up as your whole powerful self, which may cause you to shrink back? It's time to release any partnerships and relationships that aren't working for you. And some relationships may be entering a very hot and heavy zone. This could be a very, very passionate full moon for those of us who are willing to go there and be vulnerable with the right partner, of course. And Jupiter is also strongly connected to this full moon, which helps us feel more confident, more supported, and ready to use the next three weeks of direct planets to move forward in our lives into our new chapter, our new identity, our new way of being. We're feeling good. We can feel the energy in the air. It's fresh and new. Also on Wednesday, Passover starts. So Passover runs from the 5th to the 12th this year. And as we know, the energy of a date and time is influenced by by how long it's been celebrated. And Passover has been celebrated for 3,000 years. And Passover signifies a transition from our ego and life being all about me to the freedom of the higher, altruistic, united world. We're moving from me to we. And on the spiritual path, it describes a stage where a person becomes ready to do anything just to break free from the ego, to rise above it, and to realize that we're all connected. We're all in this together. It's not just all about you. So I saw a video recently where somebody was asking the Dalai Lama how to get rid of those negative thoughts that just keep ruminating in our brains, you know, the ones you just cannot stop thinking. And the Dalai Lama said, those thoughts are usually about you, your money, your love, your life, your problems. If you want to get rid of them, stop thinking about yourself. Help someone else. Volunteer. Do something for someone else. This full moon also asks us to balance our desire to go it alone and sing- single-handedly achieve these big accomplishments with the, the longing for this mutual support, for camaraderie, for equality. I mean, being number one sounds really good, but it feels so much better to be surrounded by the people that were there with you every step of the way once you make it to the top. So to recap... The energy is fresh and new. It feels so good to be moving forward in this new chapter. Wednesday's full pink moon and this number two universal month are all about balance, harmony, and relationships. We're figuring out how to be in balance in this new chapter in all areas of our life and recognizing that this new chapter isn't about going it alone. There's so much more joy in life when we share it with others. And that is it for the week. There is one class left in the Abundology Academy on uh, April 11th, and it's all about being happy. So much of what we do in life is for the goal of being happy. We go to work and save money so that one day we can retire and then be happy. We We look for a relationship so that when we find it, we'll be happy. We lose weight so that we can be happy with our bodies. How about you just be happy now? And we talk about how to actually just be happy right now in the class. I also have a couple spots open for spiritual retreats this summer. So when we're experiencing big transitions or leveling up in our lives like we're doing right now, our body and our soul need a little energetic reset. And energy is contagious and it naturally attunes to the vibration around it. So when different vibrating things come together, they sync up. And they start to vibrate together, taking on the higher frequency. So one of the easiest ways to reset and balance your energy is to be around a high vibrating person like me while enjoying beautiful Montana. So each retreat is private and customized. You pick what you want to do or you let me choose for you. We can soak in the hot springs. We can get massages. We can hike. We can go to Yellowstone. And of course, we have multiple spirit guide channeling sessions too. So I would love to spend time with you and you can find info on both of the retreats and the secret to being happy class on my website, abundology.com. And I will put a link in the show notes. 
As always, thank you for listening and passing this podcast on to a friend you think may find value in it. I am off to explore Montana, taking a drive today around um, southwestern Montana, all the little small towns, maybe stop for lunch somewhere. So enjoy this lovely new moon, and I will talk to you again next week.